Welcome back. You're still watching uh, the daily debate as uh, we did see in uh, the past report, Dr. Nabil Hilmi. How did he see the main messages of uh, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi during his participation at the summits of uh, the 76th session of uh, the United Nations General Assembly? In my opinion, it was uh, one of the best uh, meeting or one of the best speech also in the summit. And uh, if we look at it, Egypt is playing a very important role yes. in, uh, politically, trying to solve a uh, lot of, uh, uh, to settle a lot of uh, conflict between the African, between the Arab, between the also uh, Mediterranean Sea, east of the Mediterranean Sea. Where Egypt is very much trusted uh, to, pay, uh, to, to, to do this role of uh, peaceful settlement in, this, in any dispute. And of course, this is one of the reasons of United Nations and the Security Council mm. uh, to do it. And if we look at the Renaissance Dam, and if you look at the uh, conflict in Yemen, if you look at the uh, conflict in Syria, if you look at conflict in uh, Libya also, we are very much surrounded with conflicts. And uh, of course the world would like to do a peaceful settlement and they try to avoid hmm. any war or using uh, the war for settlement in this respect. Yes. And the only, if I can say it, the only country which can play this role, I think, Egypt. Mm. Uh, the, uh, Egypt has very good relation with everyone almost now and uh, Egypt jumps for settlement or jumps for uh, covering whatever is going on and also I have to say in uh, Gaza what's going in Gaza and yes. also uh, the, with Israel and it has to be solved all of this I think put a very uh, important uh, echo uh, for uh, our president in uh, speaking in uh, United Nations this, uh, this session also, the summit uh, for all of this. Yes, at the beginning of uh, the speech of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi during the participation at uh, the uh, UN Food System Summit, uh, President Assisi thanked the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres for inviting him and, uh, and importantly to be having this session and this summit uh, on time. How do you see the importance of holding the United Nations General Assembly meetings on time despite the coronavirus pandemic that is uh, invading the world? You know, you, you see, we all still remember the uh, conflict between uh, Egypt and Sudan on one side and uh, Ethiopia from the other side uh, and uh, it went to the United Nations. It has yes. been discussed in uh, Security Council and all of these things and whatever we were expecting to whatever will happen the result of this and we have agreed that we agree and we accept whatever is going on in to resolve uh, this conflict and it is very important conflict because it is the right of life mm. uh, the water problem everywhere now yes. and uh, and we have already a lot of uh, agreements Hmm. about the international rivers, especially the, the River Nile, and it has been for a long time set, settled and uh, uh, accepted by all the people, all the countries uh, in the River Nile or passing River Nile in it. Uh, because we have very special problem in this because most of the countries, they have the rain, they have more water, but Egypt depends exactly on the river Nile water mm -hmm. uh, for agriculture, for drinking, for whatever you, you name it. Uh, and this is what, what is, that's why it is very important and we have to fight for it. Fight, it doesn't mean fight by war or fight by guns or this and this, but fight by thinking and if you are defending mm -hmm. your rights, then you will be strong. You will use the law, you will use the, the international law and all of these things, I think uh, Egypt is playing this very well. And it has been accepted by the uh, world society as we, we don't have reaction. We are doing some action uh, according to the international law.
to defend the right of life for the Egyptians was uh, one of the main themes of the speeches of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and His Excellency spoke about the um, role of Egypt in manufacturing the doses uh, of the vaccine in Egypt, not just for the Egyptians but for the Africans as well during the battle against the coronavirus pandemic. How did he see uh, the role of Egypt, not just for the Egyptians, but to be helping other nations as well? No, I remind you and uh, everyone that Egypt is working very good in, uh, with Africa. Mm. You, you remember the African uh, summit and African relation and African uh, organization. Uh, all of this started with uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and we have a lot of uh, uh, traveling and uh, receiving a yes. lot of uh, leaders of Africa. I think it is very clever way because Africa is the, the, the background of Egypt and we are in the same mm. atmosphere almost for developing mm. our countries for sustainable de uh, development and this because we need it and we have to if we work together it mm. will be much better if we work with well, like a gateway to Africa yeah yeah mm. and it will be reaction to Africa yes. to, to, to cooperate with each other it is much better that to cooperate with the developed countries mm. because developed countries they feel they are stronger they feel they can control they feel that they have to lead they mm. have to do this and this and Africans including Egypt they cannot do as much as they do in, mm. in developed countries that's why we have to concentrate and I, I still remember my professor late Botrus Botrus Ghali mm. uh, he was leading this idea that Africa is uh, uh, Africa to African mm. and uh, this I think we are doing it now and develop all of these things we have a problem with Ethiopia and this problem has to be solved by Africans mm. uh, because they will keen to get close to each other to solve this because it will affect most of them international or uh, no uh, regional organization it succeed always because mm. it is between or among mm. or within whatever, the continent the continent the mm. continent or neighbors because mm. the neighbors would be affected from any conflict will happen to to any of this uh, neighbor but if you have I, I don't want to name any country but if you have South Africa mm. problem in South Africa you will not be affected like if mm. you have it in Sudan if you have it in Libya, mm, if the you neighboring have it here states. And there. Exactly. Yes. That's why it is the regional organization was, <laughs> was developed in this aspect to help each other. And of course, it can be conflict between each other also, but it is normal. Mm. It is normal to, to be, have good relation or to have uh, some problems with each other. We have to accept it and we have to, do, to work for solving this problem. Yeah. Uh, settlement and uh, everything uh, in peaceful way for that respect. Speaking of the vaccination drive or the inoculation of the Africans in general of uh, the vaccines and the interest and the insistence of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to be having uh, the best for the Egyptians and the best for the Africans, how do you see the importance of uh, the representation of Egypt for the Africans at such an international summit for the United Nations General Assembly, uh, specifically about um, a very sensitive issue of vaccinating or inoculating millions of Africans around the continent. Uh, I, I really, it is a very clever way from the President, and I congratulate him that he extend uh, our help to the African affairs and anywhere after that, but African, yes. And I would like to say that it is not COVID-19 only, but before that it was virus C. Mm. Virus C and with, uh, Egypt presented to, the, to Africa mm. to help them and to send the doctors. And, and for free. Do, yes, exactly. For and everyone. To deal with health problems. Yes. And this will affect and will get countries uh, and people in the country closer to each other, whatever, whatever uh, nationality they have, Mm. whatever this or that but it, it makes uh, the continent close to each other and it gives strength to mm. each country or each state in this continent to feel re re reliable 
uh, to be close to each other, to help each other, either in agriculture, either in politics, either in economics, in everything. And if you start with health, mm. I think this will be more, because if you see someone is sick and dying or this, and someone coming and help you mm. or giving you for free. It or, builds strong relations. Exactly, mm. exactly. Uh, that's why we, I think this is very important, and I, 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 very, I am very happy that the President uh, gave in his speech in the United Nations, or referred in his speech in the United Nations, uh, the, the health relation uh, mm. between Africans in this, and ask people, ask other countries to help Africans for, for whatever health problems they have. How do you think the role of uh, Egypt was transcended under the tenure of uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi towards Africa? And I think it, it is very, it's very clear now and very, <laughs> very helpful. And you know, like Tunis, Tunis, and now Tunis, when they have problems, they came to Egypt. Yes. And I think Libya now they are coming to Egypt. Sudan is coming to Egypt. I'm not saying that we are better than the other, but we can help than others. Mm. Uh, I don't like to be who is better than who know, uh, but I know that we can think we have passed by fighting terrorism, fight, uh, uh, sustainable uh, development, uh, health relation, uh, all of these things, and also we d did not go for fight or for uh, war or whatever when we have this prob uh, water problem. No, we mm. went by mm. peaceful settlement of mm. negotiations, dispute. calling for negotiations, and this is a, the binding deal. Yeah, and I would like, to, as a professor of international law, I would like to say that is a peaceful settlement of dispute. It was the main reason to establish a United Nations mm. because it came after the, the World War Two, and it was destroying everything in this aspect, that's why, mm. and Egypt was one of the states which uh, uh, share with other uh, countries to build and to establish uh, United Nations in that uh, time. Mm. Mm. Uh, how do you see the importance of uh, Egypt representing Africa at the United Nations General Assembly meetings, uh, especially that Egypt was heading the African Union a couple of years ago? Uh, I, I think, uh, of course, uh, I, this is an indication that the African uh, countries, they are trusting Egypt. Mm. Not only need Egypt or not only exchanging uh, programs or exchanging health or exchanging development or this and that, but I think if they ask Egypt to, to speak in this uh, occasion, then it means trust Egypt. And this for me as a professor also of international law, mm. I think this is very important for the relation relation, what you need, what you give, what you have, what you take, all of this will make uh, union, mm. union in this as, as African Union. And I would like to say that African Union is one of the strongest uh, regional uh, uh, organization in the world. Mm. More, this, will, this is very much important and if Egypt will be leading or taking care of this relation, it will be for Egypt and for the African also, and for all the area to have a peaceful uh, atmosphere, as I can say for that. During the participation of uh, President Assisi and the speeches of President Assisi, uh, His Excellency mentioned the goals and the achievements of Egypt in terms of the sustainable development for Egypt and uh, for Africa. How do you see the importance of reaching those goals set by the United Nations, uh, first of all, for the Egyptians? I think if, uh, we, are, we are working now very much so for, since uh, 19, uh, uh, since uh, 2013. Uh, I think we were working very much for development. Mm. Development will not come from in, in, but it has to come from in, out, out, in. It means that you have to use the resources of the closer countries and you give them what you have and they, we change with each other to, to uh, cooperate. Mm. And then it will be useful for every, every side. And I'm not saying Egypt side and Africa other side, but no. We are one side in this, and this is what, what we have to look for, and this is what we are doing also for the Arab countries. I'm not speaking only about Africa. And the President uh, Sisi 
He spoke about this, he spoke about terrorism, he spoke about uh, Palestinian problem, how it has to be solved and all of this. It means that we are keen to find peaceful in the area. We, are, we can have the speech without speaking about all of these things, all of these points, but I think it is the responsibility, international responsibility for this time in, in, in this world. And uh, it, I think it was very good about uh, all of these points and other points I don't remember now. Yes, one of the points that uh, as Egyptian citizens we are witnessing nowadays is the uh, reducing or the reduction of uh, differences between the urban and the rural areas in the countryside, for example, and the new capital or the capital uh, of Egypt. How do you feel those differences, especially with uh, campaigns that were launched under the tenure of President Assisi, like Haya Karime, Decent Life? I, I, let, us, let us say I, uh, I am also not only for international law, but also for uh, human rights. Yes. And uh, if you are taking care of the people who are suffering in their life, and try to help them, try to give him some uh, work, try to give him some in indications that you have to learn, uh, teach them how to do this and how to get money more, how to, to live in a better life. I think a uh, better life, it means the good health. Better life means uh, uh, also a lot of things uh, to be satisfied from in inside. Mm. And th then if the person is satisfied from inside, he will give the best of him from outside in this respect. And uh, if, we are working, if we are working for sustainable development, then we have to take care of everyone. <laughs> everyone in here and there, and if you ha they have difficulties, they don't uh, work for it, then we have to uh, give them the advice, we have to push them to how to develop their themselves, themselves and their society. All of these things, I think, will help for the future. Mm -hmm. Not only for Egypt, but for uh, surrounding also in this. Because if you are in good uh, health or in a good uh, atmosphere, in good uh, all of these things, you will pass it to our neighbors and to help them uh, doing all of these things. You will advise, you will teach them, you will have cooperation, you will get investment mm -hmm. from them because they trust you. And this is very important, this. And it will not only, if you will remark, what is going on in Egypt is not only in Cairo and Alexandria. Yes. This is, it is in Upper Egypt. Mm -hmm. And taking care of it, even in uh, Delta. All of this, you can see it. You can see it. And uh, I don't feel that anyone before, before he did the same care with all of this site in, in this. And they will feel this care they will give back more what they have inside. And if they feel this care, also they will cooperate for the uh, peaceful relation inside the, the country. Inside, they will feel that they are Egyptian. Mm. And if you do feel mm. like they Sense are, of loyalty and belonging. Loyalty, I, mm. if, you, if they feel about that, you are fighting terrorism. Mm. Terrorists are using this. Are using this, uh, if you divide the... Uh, the people in one country, then they use this and they will not be loyal and they push them with uh, nonsense. But this will fight, uh, first of all, it will push uh, sustainable de uh, development, it will push health, it will push also uh, uh, fighting terrorism in this. And they will not be easy to convince anyone who Egypt is giving him more development in his area, it is very difficult to push him to fight or to make uh, some act of terrorism. Mm. What is the importance of uh, speaking of the achievements of eliminating poverty or that we are on the way to be eliminating poverty completely in Egypt, especially at those international summits? Uh, of course it is very important because the poverty is not a very fixed uh, definition. Uh, but poverty, it means that you don't have work, the, uh, 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 poverty, it means that they don't have te uh, uh, teaching or uh, health and uh, learning or uh, working also. All of this, if you are fighting this, 
and uh, let, let uh, the, the people in Egypt learn more, more healthy. All of these things is mainly, I think this will push them to give more and to be uh, satisfied and uh, will we'll think for Egypt. And this is very important to think, uh, to develop and to satisfy it and to fight anyone who would like to uh, fight Egypt inside or outside because a lot of things I think we are changing now and it has been changed from 19, uh, from 2013 up till now uh, but we, not everyone feel it but we feel it mm. we will we feel can it. See it yes we will feel it we will work mm. for it uh, and this is very we are very lucky actually mm. uh, President Assisi also mentioned that the world should be relieving debt on Africa. How do you see uh, this call and who would be uh, dealing with such an issue for the Africans? Do you think that it would be successful, a successful call by President Assisi? I think that, yani, we, we, I, I don't want to name anything, but I, I need always to, to speak about cooperation. And we have to believe in, in, in a case. And in this case, we have to work for it as, as cooperation or as a unit. Uh, to succeed. Without this, I don't think that we will succeed if we will mm. be divided in any, in any area uh, about it. Arab, Arab countries. Well, that, that's why also I was giving some, something and was saying, speaking, we have to uh, support uh, uh, Arab Union, we have to support African Union, we have to support the unity between the Arab states. Mm. And if we do this, we have uh, a lot of uh, inter national, uh, inter uh, national resources. Mm. We can use it, we can help, we can develop ourselves in this. What stops us from developing ourselves is the fight, conflict, and mm. hard conflict. And of course, the conflict is not coming from these states, but it is coming from abroad to su support this uh, uh, fight, because it will weak the area, it will weak uh, the cooperation between the, uh, the countries. Yes, uh, during the participation of President Assisi at uh, the Climate Change Summit uh, on the sidelines of uh, the United Nations General Assembly 76th uh, session, uh, President Assisi spoke of uh, Egypt's efforts in terms of reducing the emissions of carbon dioxide and helping the environment uh, in general. How do you see uh, those efforts and uh, the repercussions of telling the world that we are on the right path. Uh, also, I will repeat what I am saying, that uh, we are trying to, fi to, to show uh, mm. a lot of examples that we are doing the best, not for any reason, but for, for the best of every country, every person, every human being. We are, we are trying to do all of these things. That's why we have to mention some examples in this respect. And I think it, it, if we know about the ears of the uh, international society, I think they will, they will listen to it in a very good sense and they will uh, open their eyes and they won't believe that Egypt can do this, but Egypt does this. Yes. And uh, we will continue and I hope that, uh, because what can stop you from continue developing hmm. war? We are not going for war, we have a big problem and they don't we will fight this peacefully mm. and we are we, we are very patient in developing this and especially if we know that the Ethiopia they have a lot of problems inside mm. and also some people said or some uh, opinion said that the Ethiopia also uh, they have problem with the building of the dam but we are not doing anything for this maybe cooperating to help uh, Sudan but not fighting or not uh, fighting, 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 no. We mm. are busy because fight will take a lot of energy from Egypt, a lot of money from Egypt, a lot of uh, uh, conflict in, in Egypt with other countries.
sacrifices, uh, leading us to uh, the sustainable development and the achievements of Egypt in terms of uh, sustainable development and uh, importantly, more importantly, food security. As President Assisi mentioned that uh, we have a resilient economy now that is facing the COVID-19 and uh, as he mentioned, His Excellency mentioned the, during the participation at uh, the uh, Food System Summit at the United Nations, that we have passed the test especially during the COVID-19 battle. How do you see the importance of uh, food security and the achievements that we have had in the past couple of years? Uh, I think it is very important because uh, uh, ha what, what does it mean, the sustainable development? That we mm. will develop the country. Uh, they, you will have environment. They will have a lot of things for this. But how can you, f you, you, you reach it? It has to be in a, in a very peaceful time. It has to be working, have investment and uh, support and uh, also politically you have to have a good relation with the others and the attraction attractive uh, investment to come here uh, and to teach and to learn people in the country outside uh, and they or they don't feel it or they don't have it we are changing health and uh, uh, teaching a lot of them things in a serious way, not just uh, passing like this. Mm. Regarding uh, food security, President Assisi always uh, speaks about the health of the children, the school pupils, and providing them with a healthy lifestyle and healthy meals all over the day and all over the year as well. How do you see uh, the importance of uh, such a topic for the children of Egypt? No, let me say, tell you something. I forgot to say it, and yes. I will come back to your point that uh, one of the points was very important for the international society and all of these things that we take care of the women, mm. the right of women, and the right of women and to have uh, equal rights. And not not equal rights. It means typically men and women. No, each everyone has to work. Everyone has to know that he is in a he can get his rights or her rights uh, any time because the law is there. The, a constitution is there and this will add to the Egyptian another uh, capacity and uh, I would like to say that uh, women most of the time they lead the family the men are working hard and come but who is leading is the mm -hmm. mothers in, in, in any anywhere or in the country this I, I think it is very important and uh, if we we are succeeding in this, uh, and they are achieving lots of things, the women in uh, in what they are having or what they are working in, mm. uh, and also uh, still we are in the beginning, but step by step, I think it will be Egyptians, not men and women, and men and women, it is a private uh, private uh, uh, relation or private uh, uh, working in, in at home. With children, all of these things, I think it is different than having the right for women in, in all all what we are doing. Not right, well, men and women, no. The, cap, the capable, mm. who is capable, who is the best, who has, this is what we are working for it, whatever he, his sex is, mm. what we have. School children. The healthy meals that President Assisi is always speaking of and even during the speech of uh, President Assisi at the participation of uh, the summit for the UN food systems that it is important to be having a healthy lifestyle for the school pupils and the children of Egypt and uh, healthy food as well to be provided to them all over the year. I think health human being, uh, for the human being will save a lot of medicine. And it will see it is also it will encourage how to think mm. and encourage how to work better, how to think better. All of this to be better in anything, it, it, you have to be healthy at least. And if you are healthy and you are you are better in in whatever you are you are doing, uh, whatever you are doing, uh, I think this will be not only for me but it will be for my country also. And it, you will develop also uh, our children, because at home, if you have the father and mother, they are healthy. They will show or push them to be healthy also, and to advise them how to be healthy mm. in this. And if you are healthy, then you are 
developing whatever you are doing and also for your country uh, you will give more in a healthy in a healthy body mm. than uh, in, a, in a sick body yes uh, of course we, we we can feel it everywhere about that mm. and if you it is not just a luxury to be healthy no you have to be healthy for yourself and for your family and for your uh, country also mm. Uh, President Assisi mentioned that he intends to be hosting Egypt to be hosting uh, the next climate change summit, the COP27. What is the importance of that? Uh, uh, of course, we are speaking about uh, still now about the health and about this and that. Anyway, I would like to put all of these things under the sustainable development. Sustainable development, it is not only for a country, but it has to be for the area, all the area in this respect. Mm. Sustainable development, it means that you have to develop your mind to get better and to give better. All of this will be very, very important for what you are, we are doing, whatever example you are speaking about. Mm. Uh, put all the examples under the umbrella of sustainable development. They will know if they are doing right or they are doing wrong. If they are healthy or not healthy. Mm. If, you are, if we are going the steps uh, for being better or the steps to be uh, bad or worse or what, whatever. Yes. If you are getting better, then we will follow by yourself. Better is getting better. Mm. Uh, not, not better, they will get... Uh, but I think we are believing now about development, susta sustainable development. Mm. 2030, all of this I think we are doing uh, very good. We, we have been from 19, uh, 2013 up till now. Mm. It is just seven years or maybe around seven years. If we go this way, I think Egypt will be one of the best country and a strong country and uh, uh, example for other countries from developing to developed. Yes, one of the uh, main challenges that faced Egypt under the tenure of President Assisi in the past seven or eight years is uh, fighting terrorism. How do you think uh, we achieved the goal of uh, eliminating terrorism altogether, not just in Sinai, but all over Egypt as well? Uh, of course, uh, I would like, I have been writing about terrorism for, for several times, about fighting terrorism, not yes. about terrorism. Uh, the terrorism is a new war. Mm. A new war because the uh, other countries which you would like to fight you, they don't want to uh, push some of their uh, soldiers or their people or their citizens uh, for a fight. Yes. But uh, they would like to push you to fight each other. How to fight each mm. other? It means it, you can use uh, terrorism. Terrorism is uh, very, very dangerous because the terror. Uh, they don't. They don't know. You don't know them before. It is a new way, and they are not registered as a criminal. Mm. Uh, and of course, they look like us, and they can take some bomb and put it under the bridge, and go back, and they can you and go away, and they can use this also if you, they would like to destroy more, and they can make it time for after half an hour after. You, then the, the, the guy who put this bump here, in half an hour or in one hour, mm. he will be left in this area. You cannot get him. Also, he can, yes. he can go to the air, airport and take the plane, and by mobile, he can uh, uh, push the, to uh, destroy this area also. Then you cannot get him. But I think we have succeeded a lot. I think... Uh, also, uh, not only succeeded in Egypt, but I would like to tell you that uh, I can feel it, that it, it, it was a vague uh, idea. What is terrorism? Who is terrorism? Human rights, what you say about it. All of these things, I think, now is clear. Everyone is fighting terrorism. Everyone is afraid that uh, someone will fight. United States, name it. Anywhere they are fighting, not other countries yes. who are going to uh, fight them or uh, war with him, yes. make war with them. But no, they will make terrorism and fight. And of course, fighting or a terrorism is affecting the economy <clears throat> and affecting a lot of things, and also the loyalty to the country, to the to the 
uh, our country, they say, no, they cannot uh, help us. Of course, they cannot uh, f uh, uh, save us. Mm. Then y you lose some of this. But fighting, I think we are fighting. And also, uh, what, is, uh, what I am happy about is that it is not uh, uh, President Sisi or here and there, but all the Egyptians, they are aware now. Yes. What is fight? What is terrorism? What what we have to do for it, and what will destroy us for it? Then they, if they see someone and they they see any if affected fear or think think he is terrorist, they were after him to save Egypt not to save anything. Yes, it is a battle of uh, awareness. We will be going out to the second report of uh, the daily debate for tonight on the participation of Foreign Minister Samah Shukri at uh, the roundtable meetings uh, on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly 76th session. So let's see it. On the sidelines of the UN General Assembly meetings, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri reviewed with the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Saturday Egypt's efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs and effectively promote human rights. The meeting comes at the end of Shukri's visit to New York. Shukri mentioned Egypt's recent launch of the National Strategy for Human Rights earlier this month as the first strategic, comprehensive, long-term homegrown human rights strategy in the country. The top diplomat also expressed his aspiration that the UN and its Secretary General continue supporting the efforts aimed at reaching a legally binding agreement on the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam GERD file. Shukri reiterated the necessity of reaching such a deal in a way that serves the interests of all parties as uh, encouraged by the UN Security Council's presidential statement issued in mid-September. Guterres affirmed in a meeting with Ethiopia's foreign minister on Friday the importance of resuming EU-backed GERD dialogue in a spirit of reaching a compromise. Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia have recently expressed readiness to engage in the AU-sponsored negotiations aiming to resolve their decade-long dispute over GERD. This comes after the UN Security Council's presidential statement encouraging the three sides to return to the AU-sponsored talks to reach a binding deal. During the Saturday meeting, Shukri expressed Egypt's appreciation and support to the efforts made by Guterres and the specialized UN agencies to avoid conflicts, build peace and achieve development goals. Shukri also affirmed that the UNGA's discussions and activities have focused on pushing forward the international multilateral working mechanisms and strengthening international peace and security. During the meeting, Shukri and Guterres discussed regional issues and affirmed the important efforts aimed at resolving crises and achieving stability. Welcome back. You're still watching uh, the Daily Debate. As uh, we did uh, see in the past report, the participation of uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri, Dr. Nabil Hilmi, at uh, the United Nations General Assembly meetings. How did he see uh, the effective participation of uh, the Foreign Minister and the uh, Foreign Ministry agenda in general uh, under his presence and tenure? Of course, uh, our, uh, our uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, he is one of the best, I think, in the world. And he has, he has passed also a lot of problems with the President Sisi and to, to develop Egypt and to have a good echo outside Egypt with other countries. Uh, it was not an easy uh, tag or easy mission, especially after the Muslim Brothers. Uh, but I think we have succeeded in it and uh, we are passing. And that's why also, <coughs> sorry for that. Uh, I think also, also uh, Mr. Sameh Shokri has had a lot of meetings in the United Nations also there during his visit and during this, uh, this occasion. Uh, plus that he spoke about Egypt and spoke about uh, solving, solving the problems yes. uh, peacefully. And if you insist or you repeat solving peacefully, mm -hmm. this will sound a lot with uh, uh, other, other words. 
Uh, that's why also uh, he spoke about development and also if you push development and uh, you would like to uh, make your people much better with uh, natural resources, with policy, with economic, with the, uh, uh, all of these things, I think this will be uh, for Egypt and then they will look at it not as third world but also developing country mm. and uh, that's what we are doing here and we are approaching developed country uh, in this few years I think too and if you add to this because we are in the center of fighting we are in the center of Libya, uh, Sudan, Yemen, uh, uh, Syria yes. uh, we are in the center we have to play yeah. our role if we can and we can now Hmm. To be solving uh, problems peacefully, internationally. Pre President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi spoke about the Palestinian cause, that we have no way for peace in the region except to be restarting uh, the talks and the negotiations between the Palestinians and the Israelis. How did he see this statement and uh, the fact that President al-Sisi addressed the problem itself or the cause? Uh, I think we have, uh, it has, uh, one of the longest conflicts uh, was the Palestinian conflict or Palestinian problem. And uh, it is the only country or the, in the only state now uh, under colonization. And uh, that's why also, also when I speak about Palestinian, I said please don't repeat that it is self-rulers. No, it is under colonization. Because it sounds a lot different with the international, international uh, a community uh, and you have to fight to take your freedom hmm. you are not fighting to <coughs> to get a whatever self-defense or self rules uh, what does it mean for anyone then you are a hmm. little bit uh, uh, under stress or whatever uh, and that's why also if we look at what president Sisi was talking about the solving the uh, the, uh, the the Palestinian uh, Palestinian problem, he was very sharp about that. Mm. He said they have to go back, uh, colonize, uh, go for uh, back to the the, the, the boundaries mm. uh, of 1967. Yes, and also they have to give the rights to Palestinians. They have to. Uh, work together because this will have peace and if you have peace it will be the best for both of them and uh, don't forget that we Egypt now is inside Gaza trying to build or trying to help trying to develop Gaza uh, with the uh, acceptance of most of the world in this and also we have a good relation with the Palestinian we have a good relation with Israel and we have to use this and the, the, the world has to listen that they have to uh, reach a resolution they have to finish this problem which is, has been for more than 50 years how come why why do it, it is still like this is it because of israel what about israel is it israel uh, better than others will mm. not accept this and maybe they will do it with other ways but for this, I think we, we are talking about a new era. Uh, we are talking about new, new, new ways. We are not talking about fighting or we are talking about peaceful settlement of dispute. And this is the most important uh, principle in the United Nations in the world now. And uh, I think uh, all of these things will have an echo. First, about what uh, Egypt is doing and what is it thinking uh, to do this and we are not just thinking but we are applying what we are thinking we are applying what we are talking about all of this i think will be uh, for the area i'm not speaking about egypt but for the area island and can you imagine if this area will be peaceful uh, area and uh, try to develop uh, all of the natural resources they are talking about it for the peaceful and for the human rights, yes. for the human being, I think this would be a big success. And part of this big success because of Egypt. Yes, uh, Dr. Nabil Hilmi, the Professor of International Law, thank you very much for being with us tonight on the Daily Debate. Thank you very much for, for everything and for you, Ahmed. Anytime.
And this brings us to the end of the daily debate for tonight. Thank you for watching and goodbye.